Okay, now remember, let us see how we get the equation, I mean the gradient of a line in any form. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. So in this lesson, I'm going to see how we get the intercept of a line and also how we get the gradient of a line. Let us start with finding the gradient of the line in this form. We start by rearranging any given line in a form of, so we rearrange it in this form because we say any line is in the form of y equal to mx plus c. What do we mean? We mean that the coefficient of y should be 1 always. The coefficient of y should be 1. And m will be the gradient of that line. So always, if this coefficient is 1, the gradient of this line is always m. So let us go through this one. So find the gradient of the following lines. Okay. Now when I look at this, I make sure at least I, that I must be into this form. So after we are in this form, I make sure that the coefficient of y is 1. When I look at this, the coefficient of y is 1. I simply pass that. And it's y equal to 2. So it's in this form. So I bring my equation. If you compare now, you see that it's in this form. Mean that my gradient is 2. As simple as that. Then this will be the intercept. If the question will be the intercept, but we are going to see them there. Now that I also have this one, so our gradient is if you compare the coefficient of x here is m, the coefficient of x here is 2. So m is 2, as simple as that. Now if I compare with this one also, the coefficient of y is 1, equal in example. So meaning I can now compare with mx plus c. You compare with this one, you know this is our m. When you compare, the coefficient of x is always our gradient. So here the coefficient of x is now negative 3 over 2. Our gradient there is negative 3 over 2, as you see. From here, you take it with its sign. Now, this one is a fraction, like that. Now, when I compare this, is that this one is not in this form. So, I pass square root in meaning, I pass take x the other side. When x crosses equal signs, it's going to become now a positive. We are now y equal to x plus 1. When this one goes to the side, it becomes a positive. Now this function is 1, so now I compare with y equal to 2 plus c. You see the function of x here is m, and yes, there is the decided 1 there. So our m is equal to 1. Here the decided 1 phrase. Now this one, this one is coefficient 1 is equal to something. So it's already then I just compare with mx plus c. So now this one doesn't have, doesn't have any intercept. So now I just compare the coefficient of x here to my m here will be a 4 with is. When I come to this now, I'm seeing the coefficient of y is not 1. What I do, I first of all first take x the other side. I'll be happy now. When this one comes with equal signs, this time changes to negative. This one is already positive 8. Now I want this coefficient to be 1. So I try to do by. 4. So divide through by 4. Divide here by 4. We divide this force without. So now I see if I divide by 5, I have y equal to negative 3 over 4x plus. This 4 divides there, it gets 2. Now it sits in this form. So now I can compare with mx plus c. If you compare, see now the coefficient. This is the whole of this is our coefficient. So that one becomes our friend in the coefficient of x. Pass that. When I come to this, I pass straight in. Always x should be at the side of the equal signs. So I have now negative 3 y equal to 2, negative 4x. When this one crosses the equal signs, it comes a negative. I also take this on the other side. Now it will be positive 5 by that when it crosses the equal signs. This function is not 1. What do I do? I divide it through by negative 3. Divides this, we get y equal to two. negative divided by negative, we get a positive. Then negative and the positive, we get negative 5 over 3. And from here, what our gradient is 4 over 3. Simple as that. So that's why we get the gradient of any given line. Then intercepts of a line, this. The line this has two intercepts, the x-axis and the y-axis intercepts. 
The x-axis intersect where the line cuts the x-axis and at, this, at that point y is 0. So whenever our line cuts, assuming this is the graph I'm handing, where it cuts this, this is what we call our x-axis intercept. Intercept. Then where it crosses this one, we call it the y-axis intercept. As simple as that. So, where it cuts the x-axis, remember this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. So, when it crosses, it cuts it at, at this point, it becomes the y-axis intercept. When it cuts it at this point, it becomes the x-axis intercept. So, already this one y is 0. And if y is 0, if you put 0 here, we have 0 equal to mx plus c. When I take this, this side, it becomes a negative. We want now the x coordinate. That's why I'm writing it by m and the expanding is always going to be in that form. Then x axis intercept is a point where the line cuts the y axis, as you see here. That's now the y axis. And at this point, x is 0. So at this point, orange x is 0. Note, intercepts are always given as points. A point has two coordinates. Then horizontal and vertical lines have no have one intercept. So for horizontal lines, this one's like this. So these lines, horizontal and vertical, and horizontal, these ones have one intercept like this. Okay, we are going to see more of this in the next lesson. Find the intercepts of the following lines, this one. So to get the x-axis intercept, you know that's not an x-axis intercept. What happens? We say at x axis intercept y is 0. So y is 0. If y is 0, we put here 0. We'll be having 2 into 0 equaling x minus 4. We have now 0 equaling x minus 4. When we take this inside, we have our 4 equaling 2x. Then I come and I get the x axis intercept. So now this intercept is going to be. Remember, we write the 4, the coordinate of x, then the coordinate of y. Then we come to the y for the y axis. Y axis. Intercept. What happens at y axis intercept? Or is our x is 0. Or is our x is 0. So we substitute here 0. We have now 2y equal to 0 minus 4 when I put here 0. Divide it through, so my 2y will be equal to now negative 4. Divide it through by 2, so that my y will be negative 2. So the intercept becomes 0, comma, negative 2 with is. So those are the intercepts now. When I come to this, if I start with the y axis intercept, now this one is very easy. You can just compare with the integration of a line. So this one is going to be our c, so always our intercept is c. So it's already for the or you go through this intercept. Uh-huh. What happens? X is always zero. So when x is zero, we have three into zero plus four. You see we have zero plus four, which will be four. Then the point is going to be zero comma four. And see my side. Then when I come to the x-axis. Intercept. Intercept. We know that y is 0. So if y is 0, I put here minus 0. Equal to 3x plus 4. Take this inside. I have now negative 4. Equal to 3x. So the first of the cosines comes the negative. Make x the subject. So divide it through by 3. So my point will be negative 4 over 3. The x coordinate, then the y coordinate is zero. So on at intercept, one of the coordinates should be a zero. Now we know that now we don't need to say that at x axis. What you need to know, whenever you say x is equal to zero, we should we are going to be already sure that this is the y axis intercept. So when x is zero, put here zero, I'll be adding four, zero plus three y equal to twelve. We are in 3y equal to 12 and my y will be 4. So this coordinate now will be the x which is 0, then the y which is 
four. Then when y is zero, we get you put our zero now here. We have now four x plus three into zero equal to four minus four x. And so that my x will be three. Then our point there is going to be three y. Then three the x x y x is three y is zero. So those are the intersects of those of this slide. When I come to this, you say when x is zero, what happens? We can then have three into zero plus three. So your five y will be equal to three. If I put by five, your y will be three over five. And the intersect will be zero comma three over five. We write the x coordinate, then the y coordinate. When y is zero, when y is zero, whenever y is zero, it means we are on the x-axis intersect. Whenever x is zero, we are on the y-axis intersect. As we saw here, x-axis intersect, y is zero. y-axis intersect, x is zero. So that's what we are going to do. So we have now five into zero equal to negative three x plus three. Now this will be zero equal to negative three x. Plus three. If I take this this side, if I bring this to this side, it will be now three x equal to three. If I throw, my x will be one. Then the intercept will be the x coordinate, which is one. Then the y coordinate, which is zero. Why are we doing this? Because to get this value of x as one, the y value is subsequently is zero, and so that's how we get the intercepts. Members. So that's it, members. I wish you. Well, now we are going to see how we plot these lines.